for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. For Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and also comment. I appreciate every single Scorpio out here. For my cross watchers, this energy kept it resonated, so just be a little aware that as you're tuning in. I do see that we do got a Scorpio cross watcher right now. This could be a Earth sign. This could be a Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus for some of you, maybe a Cancer. Scorpio, today your daily match is going to be Taurus. I appreciate every single Scorpio. Thank you for tuning in. I am doing two for five questions for Scorpio. The cash app is D-E-E-F-O-N-D-E-L. The email is DerekFondell at gmail.com. You can check out the descriptions below if I said that a little too fast or you missed that. I'm getting a Scorpio who wants a new beginning right now. I'm getting a lot of you are wanting to move. A lot of you have been manifesting moving and a lot of you have been manifesting different things. I'm seeing somebody does need to sage their home. You could have a couple energies in your house. We got a Scorpio out here that does have some energies in their home. Some of you got a fake friend or a friend that, you know, puts on a mask in front of you and then takes that mask off around other people and you could be confounded in this friend, so just be a little careful. A person that can listen to others talk about you and not defend you is the enemy too. We have it safe for you to receive. As you allow yourself to receive, the more resources you have available to share with others, open your arms to receiving and to be conduit for a good coming to you throughout the world as the world is blessing you. We have take a divinely guided chance. So for some of my Scorpios, I am keep getting this for my water signs. My water signs do not like doing things that make them uncomfortable. This goes along with cancer. This goes along with Pisces. Y'all do not like doing things that you're not used to or that just doesn't make you comfortable. But that's the only way to be successful or to really get further in life is being uncomfortable. When you're uncomfortable, you work the hardest. So we have detox your friendship. So for some of my Scorpios, you do have some toxic friendships around you. You do have some toxic relationships around you. You have some people around you that just don't really serve you good for a lot of my Scorpios out here. So I am seeing for some of you, your abundance is being affected by the people who you're spending time with. So be discerning about your associates and the relationships. Choose who to which people who you are inspiring, generous, and supportive. So... Don't be friends with just anybody and don't just have anybody around you. If this friend isn't supportive, if you can't call this friend if you need them, vice versa, you shouldn't be friends with, with them. If they're not supportive when you talk about your goals, some of you are holding on to some guilt. I don't know what you did in the past or what you did recently, but I do have a Scorpio that's holding on to some guilt right now. I'm seeing this could be playing a part in your life. We have the abundance mindset. If you think of your abundance as something that will happen in the future, then it will always be one day away from you. See, feel, and think and speak abundance into your life as some things you have already in the present moment is already good for you, but you could be overlooking it by not speaking it. And that will give you the experience that you're looking for. So we need an abundance mindset. For a lot of my Scorpios, we need an abundance mindset right now. I'm seeing some of you could feel like you're cluttered. Your room is cluttered. Your life is cluttered. Your house is cluttered. We need to sage and we need to clean up for some of my Scorpios. Your living space. We have no more complaining. So for my Scorpios, we are in 2023. There's no more complaining about what you don't like. We're only acting and we're fixing. We're not complaining about what we don't like anymore. Somebody could be dealing with a Capricorn. Take a reality check. So for some of my Scorpios, this is the time to have a reality check with yourself. You could be dealing with an Aries, have a history with an Aries. Seeing some Leo energy here. Somebody can have a history with a Leo, be dealing with one. You can have one of these signs in your charts. Maybe a Sagittarius, believe in your good luck. This could be a Libra for some of you. This could be a Virgo for some of you as well. We got take inspired action. Somebody's dealing with a Virgo. Got a lot of Virgo energy. We definitely got a Scorpio dealing with a Virgo. We got trust that all will be well. Reflect on your priorities. Somebody could be dealing with an Aquarius. And I feel like this is big for you. We are in Capricorn season. Happy birthday to all my Capricorns. Because I do feel like we got a Capricorn cross watcher in the house right now for Scorpio. We got reflect on your priorities. This is big for Scorpio. Because I'm getting that you got some people around you. And you got some energies around you that need to be released. Instead of putting that energy into them. Put that energy into your kids, your family. Certain family members, because our family ain't good, of course. And what's most important for you? Your money. I'm getting that's most important for Scorpio right now. Besides your kids, of course. So we got Aquarius and Capricorn. We got trust the universe and leave the past behind. We got some 
Aquarius and Capricorn energy here. You could be dealing with one of these signs, having history with one. It's time to leave the past behind with one as well. There could have been one of those other signs I just named. I appreciate every single Scorpio. Thank you.